everyone welcome back it's hex is here and as you remember la in the last video we talked about how to set up your army formations in doing monster swarm so that you're able to kill the highest level monsters possible and get as much rewards as possible and this time in this video we're going to discuss a bit more deeper uh, about how different damage steps are actually there when you're killing a monster like in each level uh, based on the amount of damage output you have uh, the rewards are slightly different and today so we will focus on what's the maximum amount that you can get and we will use level 6 monster as the reference and it is applicable to all the other levels as well um, so without further ado let's get into that so as you know, in each of these rallies, five uh, castles can participate uh, for at, at most at the, at the, at the current limit. Um, so there is 100% damage that you can do which in which you kill the monster itself. And as we have tested different rallies so far, um, the maximum possible reward output for a level 6 titan guard or level 6 um, elite monster is 80 times of artif artifact experience stones of 20 each and 24 times the load experience cards like 100 or experience of times 24 that's the highest and how is it determined it's like when in your in your rally if you are more than three lords in the in the fight then if you do 20% or more, then the damage output or the maximum reward is given to you already. So that's 80 and 24. Like, let's, um, like, as you see here, I did 27% damage. And uh, when we were doing it, one of the other castles were doing actually less than 20%. And they got like 60 times the artifact experience stones and 18 times the, the Lord experience cards. So that's already the difference. So if you if I when I was doing more than twenty percent, I got this as you see here, and for the others, like if somebody did it less than twenty percent, up to ten percent, it is actually sixty times uh, or eighteen times, and then it reduces again below ten percent. It's uh, forty and twelve. So that's how it's determined in the elite monster rewards section itself it doesn't matter like these are the two reference points that we use because uh there are other rewards possible as well like you can have gold coins silver coins but that is not really affected that much i believe that's more rng as we have seen here so we always have to um make sure that we manage to do that much output uh in damage or um set up the the rallies themselves as this way it is a it's a, an ideal way to actually get the maximum reward possible from each of your hits and so the of course if each lord does 20 percent damage each in a rally in a five person rally then of course they are all getting the the maximum reward possible here there is also another possibility that we tried out what if we were less than four people attacking and that's where we have this result here in which we were just three people uh, fighting the monster and then as you can see here like you can actually check it out how many people are participating in a fight and the number is four which because one is the monster itself and the rest of us are here are uh, the three of us in this one i actually did the maximum damage here which is 44 percent and the, so i got the maximum reward here the person who does the maximum damage in a three person or a lower number of rally people uh, will get the maximum damage uh, and also the maximum reward the the others were got one step lower which was the 60 and 18 times the values so this is something that we found out in our recent test runs uh, with the monster rallies themselves and it's something that you can keep in mind for example somebody might be just sending one troop uh, into the rally or let's say a beast and so they would also get very low uh, compared to what they can actually have if they, if they send a full march so keep this in mind when you're actually doing the monster rallies to maximize your output um, in rewards not just about getting the the 15 boxes here or 15 uh, kills and then having all the four boxes available and considering how important it is to get those free Excal excalibur fragments like you can get six per week and i finally managed to get my excalibur to the fifth star this week and now all i have 
remaining is to get 692 fragments to the next star uh, to find a star which is the best one out of all the six stars for Excalibur because it has troops damage. So I'm waiting for that now. It's probably going to take me quite some time unless uh, the, the RNG is helpful when I do all the Mystic Conjures and I get lots of Excalibur fragments from that uh, automatically to, to aid in my quest to get it to the six star. So uh, that was it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it and understood uh, something new. Uh, if you have any questions about it, feel free to uh, put that in the comments below. And also, if you found out something else, for example, in, in, in a lower level monster or a different combination of uh, lords attacking and damage ratios, feel free to also put that uh, in the comments. I look forward to hear what you have to say and see you in another video. Goodbye, guys.